it is just the start of summer and I can see it's already 42 degrees today. 42 degrees Celsius. It's really getting hot and I'm pretty sure this time we're going to hit 50 degrees. Absolutely sure. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and this video is tiny bit special. In this video, I would like to share some of my inside thoughts about some of the assets that I usually buy. I don't usually unbox them here on the channel, but this time I thought, hey, why not? Why not to share all these things with you? Again, it's super hot, so don't mind me sipping some of the lemon water in between. First and foremost, about the title of the video, the best keyboard that can make you a pro programmer. This is absolutely not a true statement, but it is also not totally an incorrect statement. Here are two pens in front of me, and I can claim that these pens can make you to top in your university, but I know that's not a totally correct statement. There is no pen in the world that can make you to top in your university exam or your college exams. Absolutely no idea. And it doesn't work like that way. You need to work hard. You need to really prepare for exams. And by that only, you can top the exam or can fail the exam. That result is going to be dependent on totally your efforts and hard work. But there is also another side of it. I can be really struggling while writing my exam or I can have an enjoyable experience while writing my exams. This all depends on what kind of pen I have bought or what quality of pen I have bought. If I'm writing four or five hours in a day, I would really like to invest a tiny bit amount of money so that I can buy a better pen, which can help me and make my experience of writing a little bit better. Similarly, when I'm coding almost six hours, seven hours a day, I'm sitting on the computer almost like seven to eight hours daily or probably longer sometimes, I would really like to make my experience a tiny bit more enjoyable. These keyboards are not going to make me a pro coder. Obviously, they are not going to be helping me in uh, just becoming a better coder, but they will actually help me to increase my experience while writing the code or just have the fun time on the computer. Now, I don't buy these keyboards like very often or every six months. I just buy them every five years, six years or a lot longer than that. In the initial days, I've been using the Apple Magic Keyboard. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was no problem in it. I still use it a lot. And whatever comes as a default in my laptop when I use them, that's what I use. But for a couple of uh, last couple of years, I have been using this Logitech MX keyboard. Absolutely a beast, really heavy duty when you lift them up. It's a premium grade product. And I bought this pre pandemic, probably a lot of years back before the pandemic. And it's still working fine. A heavy duty keyboard. I've been using it rough and tough in almost every place. And I've been enjoying this. But recently I thought, Let's go ahead and get ourselves an upgrade, a little bit enhanced experience of writing on the keyboard or typing on the keyboard. That's what I really want to have. So I looked on the internet, watched a lot of videos and did a lot of research about what keyboard should I get, which can be a little bit better than the MX keyboard. These are fantastic keyboard. I have no problem at all. And turns out after talking to a lot of my programming friends and other friends as well who are keyboard enthusiastic, they recommend me that, hey, you either buy, go for a Keychron or just go for a Newfie. I really wanted to buy the Newfie keyboard, which is Halo 96, but turns out no option to buy it here in India. And this reminds me of the early days when there were no such great mics which I wanted to buy were available to buy in India. Newfie keyboards, Halo 96 is one of the one which I really want to try, but it's not available in India. So here's the cue. If anybody is watching from the Newfie or you can re make this video reach to them, hey, please ship in India. There are a lot of people who would love to buy your keyboard. And in fact, especially me, I would love to try your keyboard. If anybody from the company is watching it, would you love to sponsor me one keyboard? Or if anybody is watching who lives outside of India and is coming back in India or somehow can ship me, I'll pay you. Uh, can you help me to grab uh, some hands on the new fee uh, Halo 96? So I recently ordered uh, this new keyboard, which is Keychron. So I'm going to try to unbox it here and we'll show you what is there and how it looks like. I'm not a professional unboxer, so it's going to be messy. All right, since I'm not a professional unboxer, here is the knife which is there in the kitchen. So don't expect too much from this video. A lot of stuff is in here. Cable. This is type C to USB. Why not US type C to type C? Some keycaps, maybe. Some tools. Oh, this is really one enthusiastic keyboard. More tools. Ah, oh, you can grab the keys with it. And here's the final product. Ah, this is nice. There are some more paperwork. I'm not interested in any of the paperwork at all. 
What I'm interested is in this keyboard. This looks absolutely amazing. So have a look onto this one. This is one uh, shiny of a product. Oh boy, the light is here, but you can see it here. This is one heavy duty product itself. <laughs> nice. Yeah, let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy, the key pressing experience is, ah, it's far more better than my old keyboard. It's actually better. It's not that much loud. I chose actually the brown keys, so... Did I choose brown keys or red key? I need to check it and I'll place it here, uh, that what keys I chose. Uh, but this is nice. I think this definitely is going to elevate my experience of writing. The keys are really nice to touch. The pressing, the reflection, the reverb from the keys are really nice. Uh, definitely I'll update it on some story, stories or some short so that I can share a quick experience of how this is. But here's my personal uh, recommendation to all of you. If you're spending good amount of time on your laptops and keyboard, uh, don't hesitate. If you're watching this video on a mobile phone, you definitely can afford a decent keyboard. You don't need to buy this specific model. Uh, just look for it, how you can elevate your experience. And don't ever hesitate to elevate your experience. Uh, you're working so hard on your computer, at least the experience should be enjoyable. So yeah, I upgraded to this keyboard. Let's see how the experience. I'm already feeling like a child. This is so good of uh, experience. Let's move on to the new era. A little bit out of the comfort zone to try the new keyboard. It is heavy. It is. I thought the MX keyboard is the heaviest of all that I have seen so far, but this is even way more heavier. Ah, there are some nice keys and USBs and whatnot, Mac and all of that. Oh, I can, I can, oh, I can do this. Ooh, now this is an elevated experience. I would love to share more thoughts about it and some upcoming stories and reels. So uh, make sure you follow me up on Instagram as well. And yes, I'll share more such experience with you. Uh, these are not my regular videos on the YouTube channel, but these days I'm enjoying sharing a lot with my audience. So yeah, expect more such kind of videos. That's it for this one. Uh, let's catch up in another such video.